Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Birkat Hamazon. When is it biblical? Mida Oraita. Parashat Ekev. We read the famous Pasuk, V'yachalta v'savata v'erachta, which tells one of us that when we eat, we uh, soveya, we have filled up, then we bench. So the simple halacha seems to be that once one has a full stomach, he has a nice big meal, then he is obligated to bench from the Torah. And if he has a small amount, a sandwich, a kazayit, a piece of bread, then it would be rabbinic midrabanan. Whether one is obligated from the Torah, from the rabbis, either way, a person has to bench, but there are some practical differences that come out. If one is uh, in suffake, he does remember, did I bench? I didn't bench. So if it's uh, a biblical suffolk and they'll write the question, he had a full, full meal and he had uh, obligation, it was from the Torah to bench, and he would have to go back and down. If it's a rabbinic question, then he would only, we would say, suffix lahakel. In a rabbinic question, we are lenient. A person has a cup of water, doesn't remember, did he say brain of afterwards? So Allah is, he would not say brain of out of a doubt. Suffix lahakel. So that's one difference. Or so back in the days when they used to do zimun, uh, one person who led zimun actually benched everything out loud. And the other people listen word for word, and that was their benching. So if you have a few people sitting at the table together, you would want to have someone who ate a biblical meal be benched for those who had the rabbinic meal, and not the other way around. Those are some of the practical differences that come out. But either way, it's always good to understand the mitzvah conceptually. What is the mitzvah conceptually? Is it literally v'yachat v'savata v'rachta? So the post can discuss this, and it's actually not so simple. And I think the halach question here is a bit of a maybe philosophical point here as well. The uh, many we shown in do hold, many of the early authorities do hold, and Mishabura quotes this in the Biyor Halacha, in the Shohan Aruch, at the end of Kuf Pei Dalid, uh, that Vesavia that means the person is truly satisfied, he has a nice meal, and he feels good, he, uh, he ate whatever he needs to eat, according to the Ramah, he, he drank as well if he was thirsty, and he says, ah, I feel good, I'm filled up. That's when you have biblical benching. Anything less than that, it would be drabanan, rabbinic benching. However, the Bir Halacha does quote many authorities, the Ravid and uh, the Chinach and others that say it's not true. Of course, it can have a small amount. And uh, they quote the Chinuch who says even a person has a whole piece of bread, it's about the size of a beitza, and there's Yishev Hadat. What does that mean? It doesn't mean filled up. It means Yishev Hadat, I'm fine. I could function now. Before I was just famished, I was starving, I couldn't go on. I, I couldn't really function in a normal way. Of course, I could go on, I could survive, but I, I couldn't really function normally. It was on my mind, and now I'm fine, I could function. Like Yishev Hadat. And that would be biblical benching already. That would be a biblical meal. So it turns out to be a very interesting machlok, halachically, whether sevi'a v'yachalta v'savata means a person is truly filled up, he had a big, big meal. Well, no. He had a meal. It's a functional meal that uh, it's, it could be an objective amount, a, a kibetza, a piece of bread, and that's enough for him to go on. And that would be the biblical benching. Uh, halachically, most opinions do hold it's the severe, and by the more subjective, it doesn't go on an objective amount of a beitza. But yet the Mishavur does say that even if you do hold that it's severe, it doesn't mean severe, you're stuffed, I can't eat anymore. It goes very much by the person. And if, let's say the Mishavur says a person only eats a basic amount, he purposely keeps his diet to a small amount for health reasons, for philosophical reasons, he's not looking to indulge, and that's his diet, and that's what he gets by with every day, so then that might be defined as his sevilla, of a, his satisfaction for a meal, and then he'd be obligated midal right to in berkat hamazon. So in sum, it turns out that when we think about the biblical mitzvah, chalta v'savat v'rata, we may think it's a rare mitzvah, that's only when you have a big Shabbos meal, a wedding meal, that's when you have the biblical benching. And it turns out, according to many commentaries, it's not true. There's an objective amount, a kazayit or a beitza, a piece of bread or so. And even according to those that say it's severe, satiation, it's not necessarily a huge meal. It could be a meal that that what you normally have is your meal, and that's how you function, and that would be enough. Either way, we should thank Hashem, of course, for having plenty. We're in the land of plenty. In Eretz Israel, Baruch Hashem, and we should be zochet to have the mitzvah, halta, v'savata, v'verachta. Shalom.